Abraham Lincoln has said, give me six hours to chop a tree and I will spend the first four hours sharpening the axe. This is kind of what this episode is about to me. Yes, we're going to talk about macros. Yes, we're going to talk about keyboard shortcuts. Yes, it's going to get nerdy. But at the end of it all stands a really powerful workflow that might inspire you. There's no question. Inserting instruments and effects is very, very cool and arguably one of the absolute staple key features of Studio One. You want to have a bass, just drag that in. It's ready to play. You want to have a reverb on that, just go to the effects section, go down to the reverbs, drag that on there, and you have a reverb. But what if I told you that you can also insert your instruments, your effects, or any combination of the two in a sequence or not with a hotkey or by tapping on your tablet? You could just have um, your nine favorite EQ settings, you could have your favorite nine compression settings, your favorite nine reverb and delays, and then you could go through an entirely raw session where only the levels have been balanced and you can, with the magic of the first touch, identify what needs to be done in the mix and already set the plugin that's already in the ballpark of what needs to be done as a sort of reminder, a sticky note where to go in the mix. Try this out. It's going to make your mixing so much more focused, so much truer to the original idea. And let me know how it goes in the comments. But how do you set this up? Well, there's two magic key commands that make it all happen. And that is add insert and add instrument, either to select a channel or select a track. Let me show you. So once again, you know this drill by now, we go to Studio One Keyboard Shortcut and we search for um, Insert. And we're gonna find Add Insert to Selected Channel. Now let's just assign that to something so we get a rough idea what it does. Um, yeah, this hotkey is free fortunately. And let's activate that hotkey now. And I get this menu here, right? And I can either add an effects chain, that means like a series of presets and plugins, or a device with a preset or otherwise. So for example, I could say, okay, I want to have a Pro EQ and I want to have a low cut at 75 Hertz, hit OK, and now I got that uh, inserted right here. But I would much prefer it if it would also, you know, open up after I've done that. And that's where macros come in. Macros are essentially a sequence of one key command or more. So let's go to Studio One, Macro Organizer, and click New. And now we're just going to search for the exact same command once again at Insert. And here you're going to see these three little dots. That means that we can add this command to a macro, and then we can double click it once again, and we get that menu that you just saw. And now we can go for the same preset once more. So you have a direct comparison, like the Pro EQ. Uh, 75 hertz and uh, call that add low cut, which will help us identify it in the keyboard shortcut list in just a second. This is where the macro is going to show up. I also want to add um, open channel editor so that I directly see that plugin after I've inserted it. So let me just search for show channel editor and make sure the state is on one. One means yes and zero means no in binary. So uh, this means we just want to show the channel editor. Don't worry, that's the only time I'm going to say binary. This is still about music, I promise. Hit OK. And now it's as simple as going to Studio One, keyboard shortcuts and searching for the name that we just entered. It was low cut. There you go. Just assign that to any key that you want. And now on any channel, I can add my low cuts like that. Super, super handy. Now, this is just the beginning because I can also, as you've probably seen a second ago, make combinations of that. I could add an instrument and then an insert. I could add an instrument and an effect or an entire sequence of instruments, which is made possible by the other keyboard shortcut. And that is instrument to selected tracks, add instrument to selected tracks. So the sequence would go in the macro, add instrument track, add instrument to selected tracks, and then we could specify which one we want. And the same idea we can follow with a brand new feature in Studio One 5.1, which is track and channel filters. You can access them by either opening up the track list or channel list, depending on if you want to hide tracks or channels, uh, and then clicking in the search box right here. But that's kind of clunky, and that's why I'm so glad that we have a hotkey for that. So once again, Studio One keyboard shortcuts and search for filter tracks. There we go. And assign that to anything that you want. Maybe uh, this one. 
And what this does for us is that we can now just simply hit this hotkey. It opens up the track list automatically and we can start typing. So if I only want to see my vocals right now, I just type vocals and it would show me only the tracks that are contained within the folder vocals or are actually containing the name vocal within the track. I can also type something else here. I can also type organ and then I would only see the organ if I wouldn't mistype <laughs> like that. And this is all, you know, well and good. But the best part about this is that this is also macro customizable. So in Studio One, Macro Organizer and New, if we search for filter tracks, you're going to notice that we have an argument here that we can set so we can enter anything like vocals and then create a hotkey for show only vocals. And you probably figured this already. You can once again put those as visibility presets on your studio on remote. And if you sync this with your template, I mean, you usually have similar track and channel namings then you're going to have the best visibility management tool at your disposal that you ever had. If you enjoy this kind of content, let me know. And I'm sure I'm going to have a couple more tips for you guys in the future. Take care.